Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Vintage Craft. That's right, Vintage Craft. Do not adjust your audio devices. This is Vintage Craft. <laughs> if you're not aware of Vintage Craft is, it's basically a, uh, a server for my patrons that I play on. And that I used to play on a whole lot and I haven't played on very, very regularly lately. And now I feel kind of guilty about that. But guess what? Uh, it's a new year, new me. Isn't that what all the sayings are? New year, new me. Um... We're gonna do we're gonna do some more things on this server, and today is the beginning of that. First of all, I'm gonna try to get on here once a week. That is my goal. Once a week, I have a whole lot of series going on. In case you haven't noticed, in fact, what what am I wearing today? Ah, yes, the zoo um, skin because I have so many skins now. Anyway, once a week is the goal. But not only that, we're gonna hold some events. On this server a lot more events that that's like the most fun part of having a server like this is all the people that get involved in these special events that you have so we are gonna hold some special events on this server is there something in there no that was just my eyes playing tricks on me I thought somebody put a fish in there or something uh, before we get started let me announce the first event do you guys remember when I showcased this build and I mentioned something like oh we got to do something with it this is too good not to do something with if I didn't say it on video I definitely said it off video to other people this is an incredible build, one of the best vanilla survival builds I have ever witnessed with my own two eyes. Built by Grimer, um, it's just incredible. Amazing, unbelievable, beautiful, gorgeous, and we're going to have our first event in it. January the 11th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All patrons are invited. We are going to do a PvP event. But wait, I know what you're saying. Oh, great, another PvP event. This one's going to be a little different. There will be zero breaking blocks everybody is going to be in adventure mode everybody who is taking part in this event is going to be in adventure mode uh how do you kill players i mean how is it pvp if you can't craft armor and stuff and weapons well jim what what happens is before the event there will be chests placed randomly throughout this entire build that is the only way that you get your weapons your armor your food your anything and one last thing there will be zero regeneration this is going to be a very tactical, I think, PvP experience. I know I'm not going to go running around trying to meet up with people and trying to get murdered. Absolutely not. I'm going to take it slow. going to go from building to building. I might even camp out a little bit. Maybe if I find a bow and arrow, this might be my spot right here. And I just duck behind this wall and I wait for somebody to come down the road and then pop right in the head. Right in the head with a beautiful poison arrow. That's my plan. And I'm sticking to it. So yeah, this January, I almost said December. January the 11th, 2020 at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This event is happening. I am super pumped. If you're watching this video and are a part of the Patreon server, this is it, guys. Let's do this. Like, let's let's get some let's get some action going on this place. I am not going up there, that's for sure. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna steer clear from this tower. Or am I? Another mini announcement is we have moved the spawn location because the server has been updated to 115.1. I think it's point one now, right? Uh, bees. Bees. We've moved the spawn location way up to the, uh, I guess it would be the northwestern corner of the map. The old spawn is still there. We're not resetting the map. We're just kind of starting from fresh for the people who want to start from fresh up in the corner of the map. So that's something that you uh, may or may not be looking forward to. Anyway, today we're finally going to continue our build here. Um, overall, let me just show you. Let me just. By the way, I was in I was in uh, flight mode just because I wanted to show you guys that build, but I am not I am not one to flight mode. So I'm gonna pillar up. Do I not have bamboo on this server? <laughs> I might not have bamboo on this server. I have a bunch of ladders from the prank that I recently experienced, but I don't think I have bamboo on this server. Let me just uh, pillar up until I can get some. Oh wait, maybe it's in here. Uh, I don't see any fern, kelp, bamboo. Okay, bamboo. Let's make a few of these because these are going to be super useful in the next little while. I'm going to try to finish this, uh, I guess, lily pad 2.0. I never officially named it. I just kept calling it lily pad 2.0 and it sort of stuck. Let me go. Was it campfires under bees nest that wouldn't make them angry? I think that is correct. I think that is correct. Um, all right. Let's go over here. And let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got to do sort of like a sit rep. Like a uh, an overall, I guess, uh, uh, outline. An overall uh, view. <laughs> I'm glad you stuck around. 
an overall view of what we got so far this place is actually looking really fantastic like i love this build so much i gotta put a statue Whoa, okay I, I accidentally pushed shift i gotta put a statue in there i changed a few things off camera here so this used to just be glass under here i actually added sort of like a an outer layer of quartz and then an inner or sorry not an well yeah it's kind of an inner layer outer layer if you're talking about the glass inner layer if you're talking about the bushes of quartz on the floor and then i framed it here with some slabs did the same to this side will do the same to that side but i kind of just want to build the statue first not sure what to build yet though the, the the flowers the flower plots are looking great i gotta build one here and one here to match it i think today though we're going to work on putting in more coral. At least we're going to start with that because I want to finish this middle section. I want to have dolphins in here and I want to have fish. Many, many fish. On top of these guys, it's hard to see, but I think, where is the entrance? Right here. There's chickens there. You can see a few chickens right there. And then there's sheep there. We got to get cows. We got to get pigs. We got to get horses. We got to get um, polar bears. We gotta get, uh, um, foxes and bees. Did I name all the animals? Probably not. Dogs? Dogs or wolves? Cats? There's many animals. Many options. <laughs> so maybe we'll put bees on top of that thing. Anyway, let's get started with the middle here. I've got a bunch of coral blocks here, so let's just start randomly placing these blocks in random locations randomly. Um, and we want to kind of spread out all the color to make sure it's as colorful as possible. Oh, look at this beautiful little fish. I can't wait to put in more poisson. Did you guys know that poisson is fish in French? You probably didn't. Let's maybe make them stick out a little bit in certain places like that. Uh, I don't How many do it? I have 64 of each, I believe. Somebody actually donated them. Uh, to me, and I really, really appreciate it because I was thinking right now I was got I was gonna have to go and search for more coral in the uh, in the mining world or the creative world or whatever we're calling it, the resource world. But I don't have to because somebody gave me a bunch, so I really appreciate that. Let's do a couple like that. This place looks very empty here. Um, that's fine. Kind of want to leave room for all the other colors as well. Getting closer and closer. You know what sucks is these little guys. Why are these little guys always trying to escape? Guys, you have a great life here. Look at, you're protected from predators, and you got all the coral you'll ever need. Ah, come on, you little jerks. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's why they want to leave, because I treat them like crap. Um, I got four more of these blue guys here. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep it going right here. I don't know if I'm going to have enough coral for all this. Not coral blocks, the, the actual coral plants, but I think I will. Let's find... Okay, you look like a perfect candidate right there. Now, I only have the purple coral blocks left. Bubble coral block? Are these called, like, different names and stuff? Oh, wow. This is getting kind of packed, which is good. This is what I wanted. All right, let's l start laying on the, the actual coral plants. None of them... I don't like to put the actual color. Like, I don't want to put yellow coral on yellow... Yellow plants on yellow coral, if that makes any sense. So we're just going to go around here and just place them randomly in different places. On the sides, on the top, on the bottoms. Is that a thing? No. Uh, that's fine. We can put them on gravel too to add a little color to the, to the gray areas. I think it's going to look really nice when it's done. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. Everything is looking really, really nice, really colorful, but the only thing I have left to do now is adding the sea pickles. And I know now that I can, when I did this at the time, I had no idea. I know now that if I put more than one in one spot, it gives me like a, a double shot of pickle, a double, a double pickle, if you will. Um, so I'm going to try to do that occasionally. The only thing is I only have 64 of these guys, so I, I'm going to try to yeah, maybe not do it too many times because I want to make sure this is nicely lit. Um, so far so good. And then I think I'm gonna go with bone meal. I think bone meal works on gravel and we'll get like these grassy structures. So I think that'll be kind of cool as well. Uh, but so far, oh, there's one right there. That's okay, that's okay. Nature is random. Nature is not evenly distributed. So we are not gonna evenly distribute either. Speaking of sea pickles, look at these little sea pickles. Try, or land pickles, I should say, trying to ruin my day. Why am I lagging? This is not a good time to lag, actually. Of all the times to lag, this is probably the worst time to lag. That didn't even full. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on. That's okay. 
Maybe I need to test my connection. Anyway, look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. Before we go any further, we do have a bucket of cod and a bucket of salmon. Two buckets of salmon, actually. Now, they're not saltwater species. I guess the cod is. Go ahead, coddy boy. Salmony boy. Salmony boy times two. We need to catch a lot more fish. Maybe we can like go to a shop. I don't know if there are any shops actually that sell fish. So maybe we gotta, gotta do some research before that happens. But before any of that happens, let's get some bones. I think this works. I haven't tried it recently, but I think this works. Let's go like this. That's probably a whole lot more bone meal than I needed. Yeah, something is weird. Something, something weird is happening with my connection right now. Anyway, let's go in here. We got to make a map room. I don't like the map being over here. I want it to be in one of these buildings. That building there is the portal building. So maybe, I don't know, we have like five or six more options for map buildings. Let's see what happens here. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it does work on the gravel. We're going to try to get as much greenery here as possible. I, I did a pretty good job of covering uh, most of the uh, gravel with coral and stuff. But for the, the bits that we didn't cover, why not? Let's load it up with some gravel. Does it work on sand too? It does work on sand. You know, the top here kind of could use some greenery. So I feel like this would be the place where the most sunlight would penetrate, obviously, because it's closer to the surface. So the green stuff would be... Oh, you can even grow it on coral. Interesting. Oh, this place is going to look incredible, honestly. Right through there. Get right in there. Get right in there. Okay. Does it work on these guys? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it turned them into the triple or the double. If I was a fish... I would want to be living here. This looks gorgeous. I love it. Okay. All right. There's one other little announcement. Well, it's kind of um kind of an addition to the announcement I made earlier, but I didn't make I didn't make it at the beginning of the video on purpose. I want the more loyal people sticking around for this one. Do you know the whole the whole Grimer event thing? Um the winner of that Grimer event thing gets a spot on the Pixelmon Evolved server. That's right, the Pixelmon Evolved server. You know, the one where Nebris plays and Etho plays and all those wonderful people play it as well as myself and Jinx and, and Tilted and uh, and uh, Dutch and uh, Lily and um, uh, Gingy and, uh, and all those wonderful people. There's whole, there's like 40 of us. <laughs> um, but yeah, the winner gets a spot on the Pixelmon Evolved server. Permanent spot. Permanent spot. Don't tell anybody. If you know somebody that turned the video off earlier in the video, just don't mention it. It's just for you. Just your information. This place looks great. I love it. You know, originally I was going to build something out of glass as my platform, but it just feels... I don't know. I don't know if I should. Because it'll probably cover it. And realistically, what the heck am I going to use the glass in the middle for? Nothing. It'll just be for me to stand on, so why not have, like, a natural uh, oceanic display? Since I already have, like, oceanic displays at the entrance there, it's built in an ocean, it's called the lily pad. I feel like this is probably more appropriate than building something over it. What do you guys think? Let's prepare this little section for a little bit of uh, a little bit of decoration cuz i didn't i didn't like the way it looked before and i think this looks a lot better in fact i also did this which i think looks even better i'm trying to figure out how the best way to light this entire place would be i don't like these torches everywhere so i might just like hide lanterns every once in a while or i leave the lanterns exposed i mean it is kind of like a c like i mentioned before sea related build so sea lanterns wouldn't be completely out of place plus the colors kind of match the theme of what i've been going with so i don't know what do you guys think another opinion needed anyway uh for here i just do this all the way around i don't even know if i have enough actually on me i have 29 left it's gonna be close and by close it's gonna be i mean not even close i bet i bet i, I bet i still have an entire like 16 of them remaining. I'm guessing 16 remaining. Ooh, 
maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <sighs> For a second there, I thought I was gonna have 16 remaining. Let's get 12 of these guys. Like so. And then we'll put the quartz slabs where they belong, which is on the inside of that thing. Um, I'm thinking maybe a fish. Again, sea related, right? So I haven't put any sort of like sea related statues. It's been a lion and a and a bear. I almost said tiger. And the lion is so tiny. I, I might redo that eventually because the bear, well, I guess it's kind of in proportion. But if I'm doing a fish, then it's not going to be in proportion. It's going to be like a tiny little block. Huh. Um, let me think about this. Okay. Okay. I, I have to make it a fish. It's got to be a fish. We're building a fish. Um, I'm wondering if I should put the glow. Yeah, let's put this there. We're going to have him a little bit off the ground. So he's going to be kind of a floating fish, which is a little bit against the realism. But let's try it. We're going to make him kind of a chunky fish. Kind of a chunky fish, I hope. <laughs> I hope we can make him kind of a chunky fish. Let's do... Hmm. This is going to be tricky. I'm basically just winging this. And knowing me, I'll probably... Oop, probably build it many many times over uh but anyway let's start with this okay and then we'll go i'm i like those um what are they called uh like sunfish shaped fish i think that would be a good shape for this area i also want to mix in some smooth stone to make it look like a pattern on the fish it's funny over here i didn't mix in any stone other than like there's a slab on his nose everything else is uh stone brick over there, I mixed cobble for the main and stone brick. And now I'm going to do stone brick and smooth stone. It's kind of like a little, a fun little pattern that I'm developing, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not as fun as I thought. Uh, all right, so let's do this. Let's do this. And then we'll bring this guy up like so. And that is not what I wanted to do. Bring this guy up like so. And then the back will be two of these guys because the back needs to be um this is incorrect what did i do here ah this is what i did here this goes like that okay like that like that okay now let's check out this general what the heck my game just exited to my my desktop all right all right um uh <laughs> i <laughs> i don't ha i don't have any idea how this is going to look but I'm hoping it looks pretty good. In fact, I'm going to hide this in there because it'll look cool at night uh, in the meantime, though. So, again, I was going for the sunfish look. So, kind of like chunky little body, um, you know, uh, looking adorable. Should I do mm, probably just the one? And you know what? Probably this one. You know what? Probably this to emphasize the chunky little body it's looking a little bit more like a puffer fish than anything actually was that was that too far back let me see let me see huh it's adorable that is adorable it does look like a puffer fish ah oh, puffer fish are cute i don't mind i don't mind let's put a little texture in him though like, all this smooth stone is not making me happy. So let's do maybe... Ooh, maybe we'll give him, like, a little bit of a smooth stone belly. Oh, this kind of messes with the... Okay, maybe we won't give him a smooth stone belly. Maybe we'll give him a smooth stone center. A nice smooth stony center. Like that. Just for a little bit of something. So it's not just, like, stone brick. Stone brick isn't my favorite. When it first came out, when it first came out, I mean, that was like <laughs> so long ago. Um, I, I loved it, obviously. I still love it, but man, you have to use it for everything. So it's definitely not my favorite anymore. Let's get this thing out of here. This might just be a cute puffer fish. Not going to lie. Let's see. Do I have my... I do have these guys on me. Let's go back over to this side. We got to look at it from the side. So about here. <laughs> it looks terrible. It looks horrible. 
Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's look at a different... <laughs> Maybe a different angle. I mean, it doesn't look terrible from the side. It's like an adorable little puffer fish, but I don't know. I think, honestly, it would look better without the smooth stone, so we're going to take that out. I like the eyes. The mouth is supposed to be open. That might need a bit more of a slant, and this... I don't really know what to do with this. I think maybe we remove that and that. Okay. Some slight changes made, and I think I do like that a little bit better. Yeah, I made the fin smaller. I replaced the smooth. Now you can't even tell he's got a he's got a, a fin unless you're looking at him from the side. And his face is slightly smaller. And the way I did his lips now, lips? Do fish have lips? I don't even know. Isn't that the age-old question? Uh, the way I did his face now, it looks like more of a puffer fish, and he looks like he's blowing bubbles. That's it. That's our fish. That's our fish. Much bigger than the bear. <laughs> Actually, the bear is bigger, but much bigger than the lion. I mean, this lion can't mess with this fish. And that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. So happy you could join me for this. Again, I'm going to try to do one of these every week. Um, now that the New Year's here, there's uh, much less. And that I'm married. And now that I'm married, can you believe that? Now that the New Year's here and the fact that I'm married, I don't have to worry about planning a wedding. <laughs> Tell you what, it's uh, what happened here, by the way. It looks like there was an explosion here. Um, planning a wedding is super, super stressful and super time consuming. Who would have thought? Anyway, yeah, now that all that stuff is over and done with, I have some more time on my hands, so I'm gonna try to do uh, a lot. Wow, it just looks like a blob of <laughs> oh man, from the front, it looks just like a blob of uh, stone brick, but hopefully, the point gets across. Um, yeah, I'll have more time on my hands to take take my time with these series as this is this is and really pump out good videos I'm not gonna like rush anything uh, Generally, I would probably do like once every other day like a video every other day of the same series That is not the case anymore. I'm, I'm working on uh, doing maybe once or twice a week for most of my series now because it gives me the time to really polish off the episodes and make sure it's just not You know just like you know the usual the typical Wow very chewy fish. Um, anyway, enough babbling. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see you back here for the next one. Remember, January 11th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Fantastic prize on the line. Grimer's amazing build will be used for our PvP event. Adventure mode. Um, no health regen. All the wonderful stuff. Bye-bye.